Martial arts brings the best people together. My MMA career started when I was uh, 12 years old, actually. I was put into Taekwondo when I was 12 because uh, I got bullied. When I, I turned 18, I wanted to test myself in the most ultimate form of combat, which is MMA. So I decided with just a Taekwondo background just to go in and see how I, how I went. And um, you know, I went in there with full confidence and just got rear naked choke, just got choked right away. And um, from there on out, I just started learning more different martial arts like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and uh, Judo, Muay Thai. And that's when I started falling in love with different martial arts. And um, it just started becoming my passion from there on out. Quit college, I was supposed to become an engineer, um, but I just knew like martial arts was calling out to me. I went to Australia, and that's when things started happening. That's when I started winning a lot of fights in a row. One of them was the Jules and Jackal fight. Everyone knew I was gonna fight this big, tatted up guy. Like he looked so intimidating. Like the fight poster was like me on one side, him just like covered in tats. We go into the weigh-ins, we face off. He starts walking slowly at me. He puts his fist on my face and he does this like little head nudge. He's really resorting to having, having to try to intimidate me before the fight. So um, right there I was just like, save it for tomorrow. Yeah, the game plan for that fight was to actually wrestle him, was to punch into the clinch and then take him down, because I, I knew all he had was a big right hand. I was throwing, throwing punches and getting off angle on him, and then I knew that right hand was going to come at some point, and when it did, I just knew exactly when it was going to come, ducked under it, you know, counter right hook, and knocked him out. Clean, that was the hardest time I've ever hit someone, man, it was like a big, loud, audible crack. That video went viral around the world. It's massing 150 million views right now. That kind of helped kick my career off into the UFC. That's how I made my debut was a short notice fight. Um, I had the hype of the, that viral video behind me. I was prepared for it and I won my debut by knockout. Ever since starting in the UFC, uh, I've learned that you, you've got to put everything into it. You've got to have a great diet, have, you have to get good sleep, you know, nutrition has to be on point. I'm doing yoga right now just for flexibility and recovery. I track my heart rate variable every day. Just being in the UFC just pushes you to, to learn every day. And you've only got a small window, so every day you've got you've to spend it wisely. You've got you to gotta keep learning new things, new tricks, you've got to keep getting better. Because um, once you get past that window, it's just, it just gets harder and harder. I like to have really focused training sessions. I have small goals that I set for myself. I think it's essential as a MMA athlete to avoid trauma to the head as much as possible. When I get ready for fights and I'm sparring, I have like one hard sparring day per week. Having everything that's going to be the same going into a fight, so like having your, what you're wearing, um, you know, having the, the, the same people that you train with at the fight, um, that's all gonna help keep things familiar. So a big turning point in my career was my last fight against Tim Elliott. I was a bit apprehensive taking the fight um, because of Tim Elliott. Like, he's like a monster. He comes at you, blunt, uh, guns blazing sometimes, and um, it's really hard to prepare for someone with that style. So in my head, I was, I was getting ready for a war. I was really nervous for, for that fight. Normally, like, I'm pretty, pretty chill. But uh, I remember that week, like I, was, I wasn't sleeping well. Um, the night before the fight, I was actually waking up in like a cold sweat like multiple times. Like, I, I just, I didn't sleep that night, I don't think. But like I, I went into the fight, I you know, did my thing, did everything we trained, kicked him in the head and then I ran and choked him in like a minute. And that, that just gave me so much more confidence, like knowing like when there's that much pressure under me, like I can still perform well. After the Tim Elliott fight, I just, I, I knew, like, I'm good, like, I'm actually good, like, I don't have that much confidence in myself sometimes. But, like, now I'm just like, yeah, let's, let's take on anybody. <laughs> My run in UFC so far, I'm, I'm going 4-1 and one in UFC. I'm currently ranked number 8 in the world as a flyweight. And my next fight, uh, hopefully, is going to 
uh, get me a title shot with the champion, and it's probably going to be Demetrius Johnson. And I think that that is one of the, the greatest challenges. You can, he's the pound for pound best fighter in the world. A lot of people think it's like, oh, I, I'm just unlucky to have the DJ be the champ, but I, I, I think of it as a challenge more than anything.